Hello, and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, you do see the hardcore world is still here. I've been working on it. In fact, I was actually working on it today. Well, when I'm recording this, I was playing on it for a little bit today. But I've decided that since there is so much that needs to get done on here, and Minecraft is kind of like the main backbone of my channel, that I do need to have another Minecraft series going alongside it. Now, I kind of want to do a modded series, but right now there was like some weird things going on with like Curse Forge having some issues and some other things having issues. So while I'm still investigating all of that and trying to figure out what's probably the best mod thing for me to be working on, I'm going to start a regular survival world. Now, this isn't going to be hardcore. Oh my god, they changed it. No. Hold on, let me figure out how to navigate this first. Okay. Here we are. This is going to be a regular survival world. I'm actually probably going to put in my channel name. Can we put underscores? In you know what? We're not going to do the underscore. We're going to put in the channel name for this. Just so we can see what our world seed is like. And I just wanted to do this because... Hold on. I have to type. I can't talk and type at the same time. Okay. I wanted to do this because the hardcore world is going to take me at least another few weeks up to a few months to finish grinding out all the stuff I need so I can get a slew of videos done and finish out that series so I can start up the next hardcore series. With all of that going on, I decided I haven't quite figured out modding for Minecraft yet, so I'm just going to go in and create a world just basic survival that I can run around and build on. No, nothing really needs to get done. I don't have to worry about dying. All of this. So we're going to see what our world seed looks like. And this may be the world if I don't end up in the snow again, because I have a tendency of every time I record me spawning into a world, I land in the snow. Is the and the trend continues itself. I love that that's a thing. I already mentioned that IRL, I really hate the cold. I, I hate it with a burning passion. There's bunnies. Oh, and there... I love that I have two small little ice bike biomes. This is fantastic. I'm having fun time. And there's another ice spike. This game isn't going to let me have a break, is it? I'm going to stick around here to at least get a few spruce saplings, and then I'm going to keep moving on. Because I don't particularly like starting in the snowy areas. It makes building and everything very difficult to do. Although for this world, it may be a good idea to do. Dark Oak Forest, that's something new. Wouldn't love settling in one of these, but it is something I will take over what I have been through for the last few days. Oh, and there's a nice oak biome over there. Okay. We have found our spot. We have like five different tree types in one area. We have oak, we have birch, we have spruce, dark oak. And mushrooms, if we can get silk touch. This is not a bad area. Let's do a little bit more exploring, see if there's an exact area I kind of want to settle in. I definitely want to settle near this border. Seems like the dark oak goes on for a while, and the birch goes on for a while, and then the normal forest does as well. I think I may settle around this coastline. Because that's already nice and rounded. I don't have to do much with it. Maybe do bridges across these rivers that seem to be going here. Do one to there and one to there. Maybe? Or just settle along this one. I mean, that's a little peninsula. I could just do that. This also means villagers are going to be hard to get. Means I don't get nearly as good of a start as last time. I want to have to go through curing zombies in this one, which is fine. It's not too terribly awful. 
finding them, I think, is going to be the harder part. But there does seem to be a little water thing that I'm going to have to fill in here. That's fine. Another little water cave. This does seem to be like a completely like peninsula. It's like completely sealed off, um, almost completely on its own. Play there. Actually, now that I think about it, this might be an island. Hmm. Is this an island? It is. It's an island. Okay. So this little peninsula that I was talking about settling on, this is actually entirely an island on its own. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be settling on this. It makes this area a lot easier to work with if I know that I'm working with just an island that's off on its own. Granted, that also means I'm going to have to clear a buttload of birch trees. But that's fine. I haven't really built with birch, but it's not the most awful wood type to build with. Now, here's the big thing. I gotta start cleaning space. It is becoming night. That's fine. As long as I can clear enough space, I can maybe be able to get like a little bit of a starter house going instead of just having to build a cube. Okay. Good chunk of area cleared. Now, I do think that I want to peel back some of this mountain, or not really a mountain, it's more of like a hill. Peel back some of this and then make this actually my starter home area. Maybe actually build up a bit of this area. Terraforming, episode one, who knew? Okay, and there we go, a bunch of terraforming done. Now, I think I want to actually have my house along... Kind of this area facing where I am right now. Because eventually I do want there to be another house behind it. Just like how I'm doing in my survival world, how everything, well, not survival, but my hardcore world, where everything's kind of interconnected and everything has a purpose. And the reason I built it was to create the facade of a city. I want to do a very similar thing here. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, there's some dust on my mouse pad. But I think I'm going to continue like the facade look on this side. Now, I am going to quickly run around and gather some materials because I am running on like barely half a stack of cobblestone, which means I'm going to have to start a mine somewhere. Probably not on here. I'll probably go over there to that little bit of dark oak and start it over there. But, hello tree. I also need to collect some more oak, probably some more spruce because I used all of it. So all of that is going to have to be a thing I'm going to have to work on. And I will be back after I've worked on that for a bit and we'll see how far we can get. Okay, I know this looks a little bit funky. It's like halfway through construction right now. But it is a very similar style to what I was doing beforehand. It's, that, it's got those same support beams. It's got a whole bunch of spruce in it. I even have like a tiny bit of a greenhouse back here. This is eventually going to be a greenhouse. I have some animals over here. I'll get to them in a second. But I have a little bit of a greenhouse out the back. This will be decorated a bit more when I get to it. And there's probably going to be another back door with a small porch here going to an actual full-size garden out this way. But with all of that started, I need to get a whole bunch more grind done on this world. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.